This round is the last round. You're yeah. going to have to knock him out. Ah. So you're going to have to go forward. And you're going to get straight punches. Well, exactly. yeah. Work your guts out. You can knock him out. If you want to be out. world champion, you have yeah. to get everything is left in your body this round. Set. You've got to do yeah. it. You've got to okay? go to war here. Like go to war. Board. You got, you're letting, man, right, you're letting yeah. come on to you. So right. man, it's too late. Don't swinging him, Joe. I'm telling you, man. Through the straight lines. Through the straight lines. lines. Straight lines. He's going to come like a train now. Straight punch. He's going to come like a train. Is the last followed instructions of Dean Powell in the corner of Calzaghi. Calzaghi five points ahead on Duke McKenzie's card. It's a little bit closer on mine. But certainly the Australian corner believe that their man has got to knock Joe Calzaghi out if he is to win this fight. Three minutes remaining of what has been a messy brawl of a fight, but dramatic in its own way. Calzaghi has three minutes to just box to retain his title. We think. Well, Bika, you know, needs to knock out Calzaghi just down his toes because he's a different class. When he gets up on his toes, he starts popping the jab. You know, plenty of lateral movement, nice quick shots. And Carl Zaghi is having to take shots from Beaker as Beaker comes ploughing forward and looks at the referee. There's a low one gone in and Carl Zaghi doesn't like it and Beaker being ordered away to the corner. Time out, says referee Mickey Van and Carl Zaghi caught by a low one, he claims. He's on the blind side, I have to say, from where I was watching. Couldn't see from my point at ringside. And Mickey Van's going to have another word now with Beaker. And is he going to take a point away? No, I don't think, he's, don't think so. I think he's just saying to these two fighters, come on, let's just have a proper fight in the last couple of minutes or so. It'll almost be interesting to hear from Mickey Van at the end of this because it's been one of the dirtiest fights that I can remember for a long time. Yeah, Van will say, clean up your act. You know, you're a professional world champion. A new Beaker challenger, clean up your act. This has been a real tough one. It has been one very, very tough fight indeed. Well, Pika hasn't made Kamzaki look good tonight. That's an understatement. He's had to, you know, really drag it out from the, every kind of trenches that he's got just to keep ahead. Look at the left hand around the back of the head from Calzaghi, clash of heads again inside, look at that, and the referee's got to have a word with Beaker, surely, and he is, he's allowing him to carry on, Mickey Van allowing Beaker to fight on, Calzaghi has dished out his own fair share of the rough stuff himself, takes a right hand as Beaker comes crowding in again, trying to just find that one bingo punch in the last minute of this round, with the more time remaining than that clock tells you because of course there has been the stoppage because of the low blow. I'll tell you something, John, there won't be a return. There'll be no return clause in this contract. No, I don't think uh, I don't think Joe Kazagi will be going looking for a return with this one. And I strongly suspect that Mikel Kessler, if he wins tonight in the fight against Marcus Bayer, that he won't be wanting too much of this man either. Because he is such a handful and he's coming forward again, immensely strong. And you have to give him huge credit for giving Calzaghi one of the hardest nights of his career. Physically, certainly, if not in terms of a boxing test, Calzaghi has really had to dig so very deep. John, I have to reiterate what you just said, this is Kazaki's hardest fight today. Nobody's given him a hard time like this before. Not over 12 rounds, it just doesn't happen. This guy's been in there and he's, you know, Joe's had to fight for every inch and every round. Kazaki trying to provide the grandstand finish, he's tagged by a left hand as he leaned in close. And there you go, end of the fight, Kazaki hugs. Sakio Bika, he thinks that he's done enough to win it. I would suspect that is probably the case, but what a very, very hard night that has been for Joe Calzaghi. Sakio Bika has made him fight all the way. That cut to the left eye came so very early. Clashes of heads. Bika had a point taken, and it was just typical throughout. There was a low one from Calzaghi, and look at that. Calzaghi gave a little low one, and then the response was that. Beaker's idea was, you know what, if he's going to give me some, I'm going to give him some back. Clash of heads as well. 
and this, I suppose, again, summing up the whole fight. Calzaghi trying, trying so hard to land flurries of punches, but Bika just kept on coming. What a hard fight. And now we await the judges' deliberations. An English judge, Phil Edwards, an American judge, John Lawson, and Jose Rivera of Puerto Rico. Bika, I don't think, can possibly think he's done enough to win that. He was told by his corner he got to have the knockout. Calzaghi holding his arm above his head, waving to the crowd, thanking them for their support. A very, very different fight to the fight against Jeff Lacey back in March. He thinks he's won it. His father, Enzo, he said at a very early stage it could be a mess. Don't expect necessarily for things to look fantastic. The win is what matters now. Has he got the win? We can find out, I think, and join in the, in the ring our Master of Ceremonies tonight, Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecards. Jose Rivera and John Lawson both have the bout 117, 110. Phil Edwards scores at 116, 111. All three to the winner by unanimous decision. Still undefeated. Still WBO, IBF, Super Middleweight Champion of the World. Calzaghi. Calzaghi retains his belts. The story goes on victorious once more. 117, 110 on two cards, 116, 111 on the third. We had it much the same. Barry McGuigan scored it 117, 111. Duke had it by a margin of around about six rounds. Calzaghi winning it emphatically, but what a hard night's work. Boxing can be a very tough game. He had to fight it ugly in there tonight, Calzaghi. Or if he didn't have to, he certainly dragged into an ugly fight. Cut early on, you can see the damage there around that left eye. And Joe Calzaghi will not be forgetting Saki Obika in a hurry. Just making his way now to the corner, and I think now 